Now we are staring at um, all English words that end in uh, WN, which equals Coco. Okay, to fill in our understanding of, for example, down the brown. <laughs> down the brown what? The brown cocoa. Okay, so, um, and I believe that the only way to find cocoa in the word brown is the WN. I'm pretty sure of that. Wait for it, 16. Yes, okay. So, very important. So I'm looking at all English words that end in WN. And there's only 113, okay? So first I'm gonna save this document. Um, I'm gonna save this document um, in the day's date. Uh, okay, because we do that so that um, everything that you, um, Um, everything that you do glorifies Christ, who is the root of all dates and times. I love that this video camera uh, names every single movie with the exact date and time, because all every all those numbers reference Christ, which is who is God in the flesh. So it's perfect. Um, so, okay, let's go through these. So the first word in English that ends with W N is A W N on. Uh, what is it? It's from botany. It's a stiff bristle. There's the RS bristle. Especially one of those growing from the ear or flower of barley, rye, and many grasses. Well, what's the main thing that comes to mind? It's the top. It's the, it's the orca. Remember how orca is the top of the marine food chain? Up, up, up. On. It even sounds like the word on. It's on top. A-W-N. And then if you pluralize it, then Coco gets at the dead center again. Ons. A-W-N. Okay, you can take a look at what it is. Okay, it's literally the stiff um, hairs or bristles that would, would make, make the, the highest uh, tips of, um, you know, grains and such. It's so important to... Uh, Yeah. On. Very nice. Okay. So again, the concept of up, up, up. That which is higher. Okay. That's very nice. So that's the first. On. It's it's so it's the thin. Okay. The on is the the thin hair. Um. Hair of grain, like wheat, barley, whatever. Okay. Um, very nice. And so it's the concept of that which is on top. It even says is it sounds like on. Should I bother? No, I don't want to be blinded. That's fine as long as my voice. Is um, oh, a bed gown. <laughs> of course, it's a bed gown. Well. What does it remind you to do before you put on your bed gown? Drink cocoa. You down the brown. This all adds up perfectly for people's maximum love life. Are you ready? You down the brown before you put on your bed gown and do your thing with your hubby. That's exactly what you do. Remember, this is so important because whatever gets the last word is huge. Okay? Um... So the fact that WN is on the end, I mean, we got to take this one step at a time because this is so huge, okay? The WN, so bed gown, okay? Um, by the way, gown, therefore, is literally go cocoa. <laughs> In or go cocoa and then put on your gown and do your thing or take off your gown and go cocoa. Oh, so bed gown equals the cocoa perfectly. So, so bed gown, the cocoa equals bed gown in order. So you down the brown and then put on your bed gown or take off your bed gown and you guys are ready for love like you wouldn't believe. Remember Coco was at the dead center of the word love. 
Oh, this is going to be an amazing list. Okay, so that's huge. Um, be strewn. That's the next to cover, to be strew. It's a literary term. To cover or partly cover. The word cover, again, lover, cover. O-V-O-V, -O -V, Coco. Um, and then covers. Ah, it's just like lovers under the covers. One more time. Listen carefully. Lovers under the covers. What should they have inside of them? Because what word is mathematically inside of covers and lovers twice? O-V-R-S, which is Coco. Lovers, and then the word under has Coco at the dead center. Lovers under the covers should be high on what? <laughs> this substance and no other. Okay. Um, so, lovers under the covers. That's a tearjerker. Lovers under the covers. I tell you, this is this is verbiage for okay. So be strewn to cover or partly cover a surface with scattered objects. Oh, and here's an example: the bride's train was be strewn with rose petals. So this is romantic lingo. So something that is be strewn. Ah, well. Be strewn with what? Okay, you're getting the idea. To be strew, okay. To cover or partly cover a surface with scattered objects. Well, why shouldn't something be be strewn with cocoa? Okay. In fact, you know, you get the idea. Be strewn. Okay, a person's body can be be strewn with cocoa, and that's what you do in your cocoa bath. Okay. Uh, all that to say, okay, be strewn covered over. So, very obvious to me. Um, covered over your OV, OV, in love, your Coco. Be strewn. Steamy letters, as they should be. Coco. Blown. That's easy. Coco powder is easily blown. And it's it basically shares the letters brown. So the brown, what is the brown that can be blown? Coco. Um, blown. So on, be gown, be strewn, blown. A boom town. Cocoa is a boom town. That is to say, the cocoa economy is going through the roof. The cocoa boom town, that makes sense to me. Brawn. Cocoa makes for good brains and brawn. Because cocoa blossoms everyone's veins, and that's good for brawn. Um, breakdown. You can break down every part of this, and you'll discover cocoa. Coco is brown, Cape Town, Chinatown, okay, a clown. Well, technically, if you want to be happier, you just drink cocoa. I'm not, you don't have to act like a clown, but you'll be happier. Come down, count down. Um, okay. Uh, crack down, cross down, crown. That's huge. Coco is a crown, the brown crown of Jesus. Cut down, dawn. Ooh, that's a huge one I've had from the Lord. Um, dawn, okay, Coco, and then when you say the dawn, when you say the dawn, I will awaken the dawn. The dawn, be, the dawn is just like the dream. It begins with the four letters the D, which equals Coco. So the dawn starts with Coco, ends with Coco. The dawn. Um, discrown, disown, okay. Um, Coco will help you to discrown and disown other stupid substances you've been worshipping in your life or turning to that you thought were the king. It's just, it's, remember superseder is double cocoa in symmetry? What is a superseder? It's like, it's like the new good king that takes the place of what was the old king. So there's a lot of drug addicts in the world, alcoholics, people that, you know, have had a king in their dietary life that they constantly turn to to try and feel better. This guy is going to disown and down this brown is going to down and disown the crappy king that you've been bowing down to that didn't bring you happiness, and this guy is the true guy. Okay. Um, downtown, draw down, drawn. Okay. The water is drawn first, and you add your cocoa. Okay. Drawn. I am cocoa. Okay. Drown. You can drown your cells in cocoa water. Saturated Saturday. That's amazing. So in order... 
you've got brown, crown, drown. Brown, crown, drown. Mm hmm. The word drown, of course, speaks of water. Cocoa water. Brown, crown, drown. Perfect. Oh, drown is double cocoa. <laughs> now, you don't, we, you know, it's not God's desire to drown people. No, you can drown, you know, your innards, as it were. In what? Well, do the math yourself. Drown is coco coco in order. Drown, the brown drown, like, amazing. So drown is rod plus WN is double coco. Okay. Get drunk equals quadruple 25. Get drunk on what? Coco. That's the legal drunkenness, okay. Um, what is eider down? Let's take a look. Oh, perfect. It's the small soft feathers from the breast of the female eider duck. So, and then in British, a, a quilted filled, a quilt filled with down. Okay. Again, more, you know, soft romantic feel good stuff. Just like Coco. Face down, okay. Eider down, okay. Fawn. Ooh, a fawn is brown. It's a deer, okay. Again, the, the so you have the on. This is so cool. And then the fawn is a deer, and deers go up on the heights. Again. So AWN was the top of like the the bristle top, the highest porn point of a stalk of grain. Well, a fawn, okay, is a deer. Deer go up on the heights. They're also brown, just like cocoa. In fact, in the dictionary, fawn is a light brown color, apparently. Beige, they say. Anyways. Okay. Let's see what else we got in here. Um, oh, and then if you want to fawn all over someone, well, cocoa is a great way to feel that kind of love. Um... Yeah, makes sense. So fawn over. Coco on the end, cocoa on the beginning. Okay. Done. I'm just I'm here for okay, fawn, that's cool. Um ah. so uh, yeah. So the word fawn, a young deer in its first year. Okay brown as can be and then it's also the definition of color okay and yes you can give cocoa to young children you know i would say after they're finished breastfeeding okay something like that the holy spirit will lead you uh flown oh yeah so man so flown oh yeah clown and flown you know after you've drunk your cocoa you feel like you've flown you make love to your people on, it's just, all this stuff adds up to the romance and the heights that Coco does to people. Flown, blown. Are you getting the wind and the upper feelings? Fly blown, foreknown. That's good, foreknown, foreshown. Coco was foreknown. This is cool. Do you know someone that has a frown? Give them Coco. <laughs> Anyways, uh, Germantown, non, okay, gown. Talk about that groan. Okay. Hand sewn, hewn. Hewn. Okay. Well, the pods had had the cocoa pods had to be hewn off the tree, or a hoe down. Okay. So, oh yeah, there's going to be incredible dancing. Um, with cocoa, that's obvious. Homegrown, homegrown cocoa, hometown. In drawn, in grown. Okay, this is good. Jamestown, jigsaw, knockdown. Known. That's good. Lawn. Okay. Uh, lockdown, 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 meltdown. In town, is drawn, moan. <laughs> no, that's funny. So, what does a moan lawn remind you to do? Well, what's common in the word moan and lawn? 37, Coco. Um, new moon, that's cool. Nightgown. Oh, yeah, 
yeah, so nightgown, just like bedgown. Beautiful, and there's a lot of fun. Okay, outgrown, overblown, overdrawn, overflown, overgrown, overthrown. That's amazing. So this is really cool. So there's five five words in English that start with over and end in WM. What's important about that is it starts with 37 and it ends in 37. Um, cocoa, overblown, overdrawn, overflown, overgrown, overthrown. Amazing. So these are all like superlative terms. Cocoa is the over and above. Over. What's common to the terms over and above? OV. What's common to the people say I want to go over and above in love? People say I want to feel over and above in love. OV, OV, OV. Coco, Coco, Coco. Over and above in love. I want to feel overblown. Also known as blown away. I want to feel overdrawn. That is to say, we went beyond. Okay. I want to feel overflown. Like I flew higher and further than I ever thought I would. I want to be overgrown. Like I want to have grown in happiness and joy and the fruits of the Spirit more than I ever dreamed I would. And I want all the enemies in my life to be overthrown. Coco is screaming at you from the gematria of those letters. Okay. Overthrown. Okay. Oh, yeah. What should you own? Well, Coco. Coco is money. Just own, own, now, own, now, one. Okay. <laughs> own Coco now, and then you will have one. It's the new wine that Jesus talked about. What should you own now? Coco. Dawn and pre-dawn, okay. Pull down, put down. Recrown, that's cool. Recrown, okay. Because Coco used to be king in the Americas, so well, we can recrown the king. Redrawn, regrown, renown, renown, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, Resown, re rough hewn. Give me the rundown, sawn, sewn, shakedown, shawn, shun. That's a male name, God is gracious. Shun is just like an archaic term for shown. the joy of slowing down so slow down is joy joy half a joy um, with beautiful symmetry on the um, five slow down you can feel the five slow down but of course that ends in the great 37 Coco. So from dawn until sundown, what gets the last word? WN, Coco. That's a huge one. <laughs> from dawn, from dawn until sundown, from dawn until down, let's just say it simply, from dawn, from dawn, well, from dawn until sundown, what gets the last word? WN, Coco. From dawn until sundown. Mm. Mm. 
Now I'm curious, is, you know, I always like solving giant strings from dawn until trying to solve it from dawn until sundown. I have the computer to do it. Um, take down, tear down, disavow, throne, touchdown. Touchdown, town. Town. Um, what should people be drinking in town? Cocoa. <laughs> if you want to feel good all day, tell me now. Turn down and be unknown. Unknown, unknown. Uptown. I like that. Uptown starts with 37, ends with 37. Starts with Cocoa, ends with Cocoa. And so the uptown is the resident is the resi um, is the res residential area of a city or town, and it's also characteristic apparently of the affluent area. Well, guess what? Cocoa is money. So if you want to live, if you want to live uptown, remember your body is your house. Do you want to live uptown? Which is to say, you know, in do you want to be rich? Well, cocoa is money. Uptown starts with cocoa, ends with cocoa. Done. I live my whole life uptown, everywhere I walk. Makes perfect sense. Whips on, wind blown, wire drawn, yawn. <laughs> yawn. A yawn does remind you to drink your cocoa, and here's why. Okay. Most people believe that yawning is the body's signal that it's craving more oxygen. And when you yawn, it's actually like a reaction of your body taking a deep breath and just trying to, and it's also a signal that you, your brain wants more oxygen, which is your brain wants to sleep. Well, it's also a reminder to drink your cocoa, okay? Just because cocoa boosts oxygen on the inside. Yawn, cocoa. It's basically the last word other than Youngstown that ends in WN. And yawn begins with 20, 26, which equals God. And so that reminds you to drink your God food. Pretty simple. Um, okay, that's cool. Um, so those are all the words that end in a WN. Very nice. Very nice.